Hey everybody, it's Becky from Heart Strings and Wings and we are on our baby moon in Cancun. We're staying at the Silver Sands. Uh, it's an adult only resort and I thought I'd do a quick room tour for you are for you all before we like mess up the room, you know. Want to do it when it's still nice. So, I can't wait to show you. Let's get started. All right. Here is our view. Look at that. We get the view of the pool. Two pools and that ocean. It's peaceful. Just imagine you guys all here right now. Enjoying the view. So, so glad to be here. Gonna get some relaxing done. This is an adults only resort, so it's kind of like our last time to be able to be here with we're having the baby, so. That'll be good. All right. All right, so here is the bedroom area and they give us some robes and slippers. It's very modern. And then little nightstands and this little sitting area. And there's Charlie out on the balcony. And a little sitting area again. TV and then this is like a mirror but I guess it can slide open and you get a view of like the bathroom so you can have privacy if you want or not whatever and a little mini bar and fridge looks like this might be the fridge yep and a pretty decent sized closet with Look at that, the, the light just auto pops on. That's pretty nice. Oh good, I'm gonna need extra pillows for sure. Everybody know pregnant ladies gotta have extra pillows when she's sleeping. This is the front door. And then a beautiful big bathroom. Hello. Here's the bump. <laughs> I'll be 28 going into 29 weeks. And the flight was, um, let me get, switch the camera. The flight was, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna wait any later than 29 weeks for traveling because flight wasn't that comfortable, but it was like three or four hours or whatever. Just glad to be here. All right, so let's continue with the third tour. So, so that's your, Pooh Palace, lovely, and nice walk-in shower with lots of sitting room, which will be good for me, and gorgeous, gorgeous jet tub, and then my husband hanging out over there, checking his phone, right? Are I we just gonna... posted a Facebook where we are. Oh, good, okay. And I posted a picture. Oh, okay, good. Are you still recording? Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm still recording. <laughs> So, <laughs> this bench was lower than I thought. Um, ow, that hurt. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to get changed, right? Yes. And eat because it's like 1 o'clock. It is 1 o'clock local time. Yeah. And mama and baby are hungry. As is daddy. Yes. So, food. This is good right now. We'll see you soon. <laughs> We're ready, so I just thought I'd show you what I'm wearing for dinner tonight. It's the first night, and I'm wearing a maxi dress from Avenue. And it's coral and navy. And my shoes are from aerosols. And um, jewelry from my sister. Jewelry. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> and um, yeah, I don't know. I just have a small clutch purse and um, didn't have time to really do much with my hair, so it's beach wavy hair today. And then, husband, what you wearing? Whoa. <laughs> You're wearing a nice golf shirt, khaki oh, pants. I'm wearing golf shirt, khaki pants, and apt nine shoes that are from Kohl's. <laughs> we like Kohl's. And I am also wearing what's called in modern parlance a wife beater, even though I do no such thing. 
<laughs> they call it, or tank top, you can call it whatever you want. All right. It's white, and uh, yeah. We're gonna go get dinner, we're hungry. Baby's hungry. Mexico. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's the third night, we're going to dinner, and I um, thought I'd show you what I'm wearing again. Uh, I've got this dress from, I don't know, Morstum Rack or Marshalls or somewhere, I don't remember, but um, I like that it's like a high-low. It shows like me and goes down low, and I got the shoes from Naturalizer again. Same jewelry as Monday night, and a Lucy Lou um, shard wrap, <laughs> and my black clutch, so we're ready to go. And husband's wearing the same thing he wore the first night for dinner. Again, That's so. true. Because one of the shirts he brought was actually a little too big, right, Abe? That was my Hawaiian shirt, which would have been a hit. It would have been a hit, but... It's too big now. <laughs> it's too big. It's like wearing a Hawaiian parachute. <laughs> Doesn't work for anybody. All right, so. Hi, everybody. It's our last night, and I uh, thought I'd show you what I'm wearing. And we actually have just finished coming back from dinner and it's kind of early because I was having some, I think, Braxton hip contractions. I don't know, so we'll make this quick. Um, but yeah, I got this whole outfit from Kohl's. This is the Kohl's maternity dress that's sleeveless and then I just got this shrug in the junior's department and I'm wearing my favorite mother of pearl jewelry I got from just a local Boston artist. And then my shoes from aerosols again and yeah my husband looks really nice too but you have that stain on your shirt didn't you? I spilled food. <laughs> this is why you should film before you go to dinner. Yeah. Just in case you spill food on yourself. I'm kind of clumsy. Should we show you anyway or? Yeah sure I'll just put my hand over the stain. <laughs> All right I we like the shirt that you picked out. <laughs> it's not bad. It's yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, also cool. Same pants and shoes, pants and shoes yeah. yeah. But you look good. You look like you're like pledging the allegiance or something. <laughs> There's the stain. Can I zoom? Let's zoom. That, There's the stain. We're gonna call that a happy accident from the hibachi grill tonight. <laughs> yeah. Food was decent. I'll give him credit for that. Yeah. And nobody would take your shrimp. Nobody would take my shrimp. Oh well, that's I'm not okay. A shrimp guy. Yeah. All right. See you later. And of course, the day we leave, the water is calm, there's no wind, it is cloudy, but it's just kind of irritating that the weather decided to cooperate on the day we're going to get out of here. So this is the view, that's the wife, we saw an, a fantastic ceremony there at that uh, Cabana Gazebo thing. the bar. And this is just one side of the beach of this resort. There's a whole other side off in the distance there, which we'll eventually walk to. Let's probably take a picture of the resort itself. Cancun. Silver Sands.
Hey everybody. So it's our last day in Cancun for our baby moon. And what a beautiful morning. We're sad to go, but last night I was having some Braxton Hicks contractions that were not very comfortable and some sharp pains and stuff. So, you know, sometimes it's just nice to be at home when those things are happening, when you're comfortable. And I also had to spend all the night sleeping on the couch with pillows, so I wasn't comfortable in the bed. So that wasn't all that great <laughs> either. So I'm kind of ready to get back home and go back to sleep in my good old fashioned uh, recliner. And yeah, so sad to go, but kind of ready. And we knew we'd probably feel this way by the fifth day. So, yep, we will hit our flight later today. And we won't get home till probably like 9 or 10 tonight. Because we drove an hour away to go to Southwest. And uh, take Southwest at the Baltimore airport. So, it'll be a bit of a drive. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching our baby moon moments. And I will try to sear this in my brain for as long as possible. Because <laughs> it's going to be a while till we're able to, uh, to do this again. But I don't know. It might be nice to come back here and renew our vows. Just like our friends did. In that little gazebo. And they were celebrating 15 years. So we'll have to wait six more years to celebrate our 15 year. <laughs> so it might be perfect then to come back. But hopefully we'll come back sooner than that. That's my plan anyway. All right, talk to you later.